Welcome to Fresh Ideas. I'm Christine and today I have Michael Brady with me. He's the sous chef here at Fresh by Brookshire's and today we're going to be doing some Thanksgiving sides that you can do ahead of time. So Michael, what have you got for me today? Thanks Christine. What we're going to do today is we're going to take a traditional cranberry sauce and put a fun little twist on it. So why don't we head over here and we'll get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a hot pan. I got a little bit of oil. I got some shallots. And for a fun little twist, since this is the season for apple and pears, we're going to add a fun little Bosque apple. Then we've got some really good fresh cranberries that we're going to add after we browned off a little bit. We're going to add brown sugar. And then what I have here is white wine, cider vinegar. We're going to add that to it. For the fun little twist, orange soda. This will give it a nice little bright kind of citrusy taste. Cranberries and orange go really well together. Now what you want to do is you want to put this on medium heat for about an hour. All right, so here's our finished product, our cranberry sauce. It's a great accoutrement to any Thanksgiving dish. Christine, what you got for us? Well, I'm going to do a sweet potato gratin that's really quick and easy, and you can also do it ahead of time. I've already boiled my sweet potatoes, and so they're just a little bit fork tender. And then I'm going to slice them with a mandolin, and then you just want to finish out your design. I mean, you can be as creative with this as you like, or just layer them all in there together doesn't matter. And then you have a sauce that goes over the top. So in the sauce I've got brown sugar, milk, brandy, butter, and cinnamon. So you're going to melt all of that together except for the brandy. Once you get it off the heat then add the brandy in other, you know, because you don't want it to flame up on you. And then you just take your sauce and pour this over the top. And then you're going to put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. So there you have it, Michael's cranberries and my sweet potatoes. Thanks so much for joining me today. This was fun. Thank you. I had a good time. So be sure to check Wednesday's Tyler Paper Food section and CBS19.tv for more recipes. And thanks for joining me for Fresh Ideas.